for the Nationals in a lot of great battles in every discipline and every division, including pairs, of course. Our pairs expert, Debbie Wilkes, joins us now to talk about the ISU Junior Grand Prix Final devoid of Canadians in Helsinki. I know. How sad is that? And particularly sad considering that Canadians Jessica Dubé and Bryce Davidson are the defending Junior Grand Prix final champions. And they did qualify again this year, but sometimes nature or fate intervenes, I guess. And uh, poor Jessica was felled by a knee injury in November, underwent surgery, and uh, may not even be back for Canadians. Hope to qualify should they be named for Junior Worlds but uh, Canadians will wait and see. Which will be held in Kitchener, by the way, later in the season. Let's talk about this competition. Who is remaining? Well, the United States with about 27 teams, actually five, <laughs> yes. and Russia. I know. Who's ever... I mean, when was the last time we saw Russia versus the U.S. in a final? Uh, really well, a World testament. Junior Hockey, actually. Okay, you got okay, me we'll on that there. one. Uh, it's a testament to the uh, great program that the U.S. is fielding at the moment. They've got some very bright young pairs coming up here. Some we have seen before, one in particular from Skate Canada. Also, the tremendous field that Russia still manages to put forth in competition, despite the fact that for years we've been saying since the end of uh, the former USSR, we've been waiting for skating to take a dip. Hasn't happened. No, it hasn't. Uh, here are the standings after the short program as they get ready for the free skate in Helsinki. We're Hotova and Trankov of Russia. And uh, look at uh, chasing them. Second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, the United States. So it's the United States and Russia in Helsinki. And on the ice, the team of Vice and Cole. And they're free skate to Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, this team, one of the up and coming pairs, teams in the United States, they've done very well on the junior circuit. And they're going to try to crack this top Russian team right now, Brittany Weiss and Nicholas Cole, the U.S. junior silver medalists. You may recognize this team from senior Grand Prix events. They also competed in Halifax last fall at Skate Canada. And in fact, we're only alternates here coming into the junior final. But when Dubé and Davidson had to withdraw, they were called to the post. Starting very strongly with side-by-side -side triple toes. and an exquisite throw triple loop. Both these skaters skate in what skaters refer to as the reverse direction. They rotate clockwise more unusual direction of rotation for most skaters and very unusual to find two top level individual skaters to form into a pair Good overhead lift. The man must rotate at least one rotation for it to be considered a legal lift. Brittany is 17, Nicholas is 21. They were eighth, the U.S. Senior Nationals last season. Skated at Skate Canada and finished in seventh position. So 
they're just on the cusp of making the leap to the senior ranks. Junior teams are only permitted a maximum of 13 elements in their free program. Brittany and Nick really maximizing on this wonderful music and showing the kind of energy that their altitude training in Colorado Springs gives them. Superb conditioning. Coming into the final half minute or so of their four minute free skate. Coming into one of their final lifts. This one from group three defined according to the hold on the takeoff group three being a lift much like a cartwheel with the hold on the woman's hip or upper thigh fabulously difficult entry into the back outside death spiral increasing the level of difficulty and therefore increasing the base value Brittany Weiss, Nick Cole. They were fourth after the short program. And again, the Russians leading the way and a number of American teams. This is almost like the U.S. National Championships here. Rod, the power in this team is their excellent throws and individual jumps. Brittany can maximize her rotations rate better than anyone I've ever seen. Their lifts are somewhat more basic uh defined this lift number group number three by virtue of the hold on the takeoff they did do some interesting exits but generally the lifts were fairly basic oh my god you guys got 93. you gotta have a calculator now with the, the new judging system here are the marks the number to beat 93.79 free skate added to the short program 143.38 more to come from helsinki you are watching the ISU Junior Grand Prix Final on TSN. Who skate out of Colorado Springs in Colorado. Also coached by the team of Delilah Sappenfield and Tom Sakrishek, doing some great work there in Colorado Springs. Focusing for this team on increasing their technical content, chock-a-block full of triple attempts. This first element, the triple twist. Just like the single skaters, the pair skaters are trying to up the ante with the technical content. Kind of raggy throw triple sow cow. This next lift from group five. based on an overhead position, flip dismount. jump sequence which will only be counted by the technical specialists if the skaters keep rhythm between the two jumps there must be no cross cuts and no more than one turn on the ice between the respected elements Mariel is just 14 Rockney is 18 his dad is also a Rockney and if you're a football fan of course you'd recognize that name after the legendary Newt Rockney. Not that they're related, they just love the fighting Irish. Strong throw triple toe.
so many of the skaters at this level, I find particularly in pairs, have not yet gone the distance in terms of the artistic side of skating. They're still concentrating on getting the elements done and not paying enough attention to the things in between. Could that be because the, there's such a demand on the tricks nowadays? And it depends on the coach's focus as well. Many coaches feel get the tricks done, then we'll talk artistry. A lot of other coaches go the other way, or at least design programs that address both situations. Part of that problem is also, I think, one of the things that makes Junior such a fun event to watch. You don't really know what you're going to see. It's a real roller coaster. Many of these kids have not had the experience yet to know who they are, not just off the ice, certainly on the ice. Finding a style is something that takes time and exploration. Well, it has been an interesting voyage to Helsinki for this team of Miller and Brubaker. Again, they were in second place after the short program. A couple of glitches, though, in that performance. Again, Vice and Cole lead. We still have the Russian team to skate, the leaders. And again, that team with a very substantial lead. Here's a look at one of the lips out of three in the program. This one, group five, based on the overhead position. Tricky little exit with the flip out on the landing, adding to the level of difficulty. But in order to increase that level, the skater must have a minimum of two extra features. Very strong skating in the side-by-side -side jumps and in the throws. Their strongest part in this free skate program. Again, their coaches who have uh, basically set up shop in the Kiss and Cry area here out of Colorado Springs. And again, we'll watch the mark. The, the number to beat after two programs is 143.38. And uh, they are not going to beat it. They are going to be close behind. But there is one team to skate. Vice and Cole lead. The Russians are next. Oh, Russia. Maria Murkotova and Maxim Trankov, they might be able to just put up the sails and coast here. They must go as clean as possible, but really are head and tails above some of the other teams. And they're capable of doing many different things. Their short program was from Cirque du Soleil, quite bubbly, uh, comedic in parts. Here, something much more serious. Another team emphasizing some great individual skating skills. Triple twist. bad takeoff on that triple Salcal. Whoa. Still shaky from the landing of the sow cow is my guess. It's 
spiral step sequence, giving them a moment to recoup, settle down for the next big trick coming up, throw triple sow cow. There we go. A fall for any competitor under the new system is an extremely costly thing. Not only are you marked down on the grade of execution, but you take an automatic deduction of 1.0 every time your butt hits the ice. Even though this team is having some trouble with some of the elements, all of the in-between material, the plain basic skating is extremely polished. They're very aware of their style and positions. The upper body is used carefully, always extremely stretched, beautiful lines. And again, a team that won't be around junior much longer. They'll be in the senior ranks next year. But they would have been pushed at this event by the Canadians, Dubé and Davison, who were the champions in a number of events. And this team finished behind Bryce and Davidson last year. There will be a lot of teams finishing behind this team this year. Line up. Because even though they had some mistakes, again, the level of difficulty and everything else, it's clear to see that they are the champions. And just the smoothness of their skating. They were in complete control, despite the fact there were some problems in some of the elements. The toe overhead from group five, here's one change of position. That counts as a feature. He does a one hand for half a rotation, another additional feature, and a difficult landing, which should move that up to a level two in difficulty. Higher base marks. The throw triple loop, really powerful on the takeoff, but I, I do believe that Maria was still trying to recover from her individual fall on the triple sow cow. She came back very strongly, however, toward the end of the program to nail the throw triple sow cow. Just one of many, many pairs teams in Russia right now and history of the event. Now, again, the free skate total might not, might be a lot closer than the short program where they built up their lead, but let's take a look. 96.93. With their coach, Nikolai Velikov, he's like the Tamara Moskvina of the junior pairs in Russia. And there is the total. There is the declaration. They look a little tense, but uh, you don't have to be tense. They win uh, by a long shot, actually. Well, Hortova and Trenkov, 96-9-3, three points ahead of Ice and Cole, Miller and Brubaker third. So 2-3 United States on the podium. And then, uh, again, all of those other American teams we did not have time to show you today. But those teams getting ready for the U.S. Nationals, Mkhortova and Trankov for the Russian Nationals. And we are going to see this team, I'm sure, down the road at the World Championships. Mkhortova and Trankov, the ISU Junior Grand Prix pairs champions. Back to wrap it up after this from Helsinki. The ladies free and the free dance. Virtue and Moyer in line for a medal from Helsinki, Finland. And what a treat for the pair teams in Helsinki. Russia and the U.S. battling it out. Russia winning the gold medal. The U.S. bronze and silver. Strong skaters all round. And a true sign of what pair skating is about to become. And the men, Dennis Fan of the United States. We will see you Saturday. Don't forget the Nationals next week on TSN and CTV. Goodbye, everybody.